Hello YouTubers, I've uh, got myself a, a bit of a project, uh, Telequipment Oscilloscope D61. Uh, all the switches are very seized, mucked up. Um, Still stick a bit, but uh, a bit more investigating cleaning. Uh, I'll just clean all the front down, but I've noticed that the imprint missing this there. But uh, yeah, it all comes on anyway. This bezel, the front bezel slides out. And there's the CRT. And inside, nothing's been touched. All the capacitors, original. The old polystyrene buses. This one's a little bit tim a little bit from there lot. A little play. So there's a bit of mop now and again. As you can see, oops. The tube itself is a G and C uh, M Valve Company Limited uh, in England. That, uh, this one thing I'm going to change is the mains. Um, and this is the mains cable. And there's a bit there which is showing the little piece. And there's a bit there. And on the end, uh, somebody kindly put some side tape around the, at the end of the plug. Um, but it's been again warm there or something, so I think it's time to. Uh, I've got some new flex, put some new cable on it. And the other side. It's nice and light, there's no weight in it. Big hefty transformer. Well, I see the uh, filtering capacitors. And that's the other side. And a cap. Which goes all the way through there. And pops out. Down there, just down there, where that's there. These three caps are 500 volts. So, these three caps, 500 volts, yeah, it'll go and uh, 470 US. So, there's a lot of power. So, that's a new, well, not new. No, uh, just to me. It, uh, um, I did actually find some stickers when she was built. Um, it was on the inside panel. 
There we go, down there. Let's zoom in. And that's when she was made. Right, so I'll get the new cable in and uh, take it from there. It's a shame about the uh, that ring all oh, wiped off it. No. Thanks for watching. Okay, um I'm a bit sorry about the noise in the background. Um the hue is going around. Anyway, I'll Got the cable through. Um, I put a bit of um, heat shrink just around the cables, make it tight so they don't move. Sold it up, and you can see what's happening there. Look, and that was the back end. It's been moving after the years. I haven't done bad actually, so, well, like I say 83 and uh, 2014, that's 20 years ago, over. Mm. I say there's some surface dust knocking about. Um, we need to, uh, as you can see, there's a trap of ice in there. I had to get a bit of a blast a minute ago. Many years of dust. <sighs> I found this on the um, eBay it's called Data Flash Spray Dusting. Um, it's German. Uh, it cost me uh, three quid. It's a big can. So four hundred and four hundred mil. Unless it is a bit of uh, CO two what comes out. But I don't know about that. Okay, just put all the cable in. Just check it out to ground and check the live and neutral down to ground. If you've got 0 percent, 0 point, something about 0 point two ohms, something like that, two two four ohms. So there's no 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 access uh, down, down down to earth.
So let's go and try it. Why is it that every time I open the plug, there's always a 13 amp fuse in it? This thing is only about 3 amps, if that. So, in rush you might be a bit, about 4, but why do I stick a 5 amp in? But you don't need 13. If there's any problems, and it's gonna wind up to 13 amps before it, it shuts down. And you could be hanging on to that. Now right, packing the scoop. She's all done. And just twin beam. That's ten or two. Channel one. It's got a good. Oops. Get back in the centre. It's got a good uh, end density. That's that's right down. Bring it up slowly. And bring it on full blast. So the beam's really good. Uh, focus, that's all working. Mm. Might be a bit noise on the pots. That's better. Well, double the gun.